بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس ایس ٹوینٹی سکسٹین کرنٹ افیرز کوئسٹن نمبر ٹو ڈسکس ان ڈیٹیل دا ایفیکیسی آف کانٹر ٹیررزم میئرز اڈیپٹڈ بائی دا گورنمنٹ اسپیشلی ود ریفرنس ٹو دا نیشنل ایکشن پلان دیٹ سی دا ایفیکیسی آف کانٹر ٹیررزم میئرز اڈیپٹڈ بائی دا گورنمنٹ اسپیشلی ود دا ریفرنس ٹو دا نیشنل ایکشن پلان نیپ آف دا ٹوینٹی سکسٹین ڈپینڈز آن ویریس فیکٹرز انکلوڈنگ دا نیچر آف دا تھریٹ the effectiveness of the strategies and the resources available to, the, to implement them. The National Action Plan of 2016 was formulated by the government of Pakistan in response to the terrorist attacks that had taken, uh, taken place in the country. It aimed to counter terrorism and extremism through a comprehensive and integrated approach that involved various stakeholders in, including the military, the judiciary and the civil society. Actually, this action plan was formulated after the heinous terrorist attack on army public school in uh, in 2016 the plan was based on the 20 points which included measures to strengthen the criminal justice system improve the management of afghan border address the underlying socio economic di- di- drivers of extremism and terrorism and counter the propaganda of the terrorists in the society One of the key strengths of the NAP was its comprehensive approach, which aimed to address both the symptoms and root causes of the terrorism. For example, the plan aimed to improve the management of madrasas and the educational curriculum, which were seen as a key driver, drivers of the extremism, while also strengthening the law enforcement agencies and criminal justice system to effectively prosecute terrorists. However, the implementation of NAP has been uneven and has focused numerous challenges. One of the key challenges has been the lack of the coordination and cooperation among different government agencies, which has undermined the effectiveness of the counter-terrorism measures. There, also, there has also been a shortage of resources both in the terms of funding and manpower, which has limited the government's ability to fully implement the plan. Additionally, some of the provisions of NAP, such as the regulation of the madrasas and the management of the Afghan border, have been difficult to implement due to the opposition from the various stakeholders. In conclusion, the efficacy of the counter-terrorism measures adopted by the government, especially with reference to NAP 2016, is a complex issue that depends on a range of factors, including the nature of the threat, the effectiveness of the strategies, and the resources available to implement them. While NAP had some strengths, including its comprehensive approach, its implementation has been uneven and has faced numerous, numerous challenges which has limited its overall effectiveness. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next topic. Thank you. Allah.